Tere, Mion, Howie Fitzmaurice, and welcome to the Estonian Cricket Weekly. We had a full round of matches last weekend, starting with our T20 games. Strikers defeated the Rising Stars. Uh, Strikers made 211 for five. Rising Stars managed 174 for seven. A man of the match, Habib Khan, with 120 off 59 and one for 24. Shoaib was the best for the Rising Stars with 90 off 61. United defeated the Vikings, uh, 165 for seven. Vikings managed 114 for the loss of eight wickets. Man of the match, Anurag Singh, with 42 off 28 and two for 11. Best for the Vikings was Rupam, with 37 uh, off 33 and two for 30. Stallions defeated Riders. Uh, Stallions, 183. Riders could only manage uh, 80 runs there. Uh, Man of the match, Saif Rahman, with 104 off 52. And best for the Riders was Hardik with a 35 uh, runnable innings. United also defeated the Hippos. Uh, 135 was United for the loss of four wickets, and the Hippos uh, 134 for the loss of seven. Man of the match was Murley with two for 25 and 28 not out. Best for the Hippos was Marco Vike with 50 not out. In our high 40, 40 over competition, the Stallions defeated the Riders. Uh, Stallions 182 for the loss of eight wickets, the Riders 181. Man of the match is Zahan Khan with three for 36. And for the Riders, the best was, well, Rana uh, with three for 32 and 48 off 31. Strikers defeated the Rising Stars, uh, well, in a, an incredibly low scoring game. Rising Stars could only manage 48 with the bat for the loss of 10 wickets. Tambi was their best with four for 21 in the bowling, but Habib Khan, man of the match with uh, three for 11. Mind you, New Sikander was very unlucky with his four for five. In milestones, uh, well, this week it was Rana. Uh, he got his 100th EPL wicket. So big congratulations to Rana and well done on a fantastic career so far. For the whole of July, Finland has been hosting the ICC sub-regional men's T20 World Cup qualifiers. This Friday, the Estonian men's national team travels to Finland to compete against nine other countries for the opportunity to move on to the European regional qualifiers. And this is for a spot in the 2024 ICC T20 World Cup, which is in the USA and the West Indies. And last week, Stu and Robbo went to Finland to check out the uh, Group A, which included uh, hosts Finland and teams including Italy, Isle of Man and Cyprus.
Hi guys, it's Stu and Dave here from the ECA. We're in Helsinki. We're meeting a lot of interesting people this, this week, a lot of friends and colleagues that we know, some new people. But an old friend of ours, Kevin O'Brien from Ireland, originally came out to help Estonia in the very, very cold. I think it was about March, it's minus 20. Um, Kev's with uh, Italy on the, uh, the sub-regional uh, qualifiers uh, this week and a half. Thank you for joining us for your time, Kev. No worries, Chewie. Yeah. Um, how did you get involved in, in cricket in Italy and what were your, your thoughts moving into what you're doing at the moment? It was actually um, quite strange. It actually stemmed from being away with you guys in March. Oh, wow. um, yeah. I got a... So after coming home mm. in... For those two days in, in Tallinn, which were, were unbelievable, great to be in a city that I never thought I'd be in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got a, a, met a text message from the president of Italian cricket, Fabio, yeah. who I'd met three or four years ago and kind of kept in touch. Um, and he just said that he saw what I was doing with Estonia. And he said, would you be keen to come on, on board with, with Italy this summer and help them out? Um, yeah. And I said, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, stemmed from there. And I went over to, had a whirlwind trip in in uh, early May, mm -hmm. over to Milan, Bologna, and Rome, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, wow. <laughs> Three uh, sessions with the kind of a selected yeah. group of players from each yeah. city. Um, and then the following week went back with a, with a smaller pool of players and back yeah. to Milan. And um, yeah, and then I was in Uganda last month at the 50 over World Cricket League. And here, this, this trip and wow. off, the, off the jersey in early August. So it's a busy summer for Italian cricket and yeah. obviously for a lot of uh, countries around Europe with the T20 qualifiers, etc. So. Yeah, it's great to be involved with a smaller nation yeah. who are looking to try and improve and, you know, on, on the, hopefully, the upward curve and with their cricket. So what, what do you think are a couple of the, the main contributing factors that you can bring to the, the Italian team that you can see that they can really make an impact early doors? Yeah, I think, you know, I think just speaking about the Italian players, you know, I think the, the talent is there um, the ability is there. You know, it's, it's probably just trying to get them to think a little bit more about their cricket, about how they prepare for games, how they mm -hmm. train for games, um, you know, how they, you know, review games and, and debrief their personal performances, but mm -hmm. also the team's performance. Um, and, you know, I've, I've been in this situation, you know, for, as an associate cricketer, yeah. trying to qualify for World Cups, you know, we did it for, you know, 10 or 12 years. So yeah. I think, I suppose, the, the knowledge that I've gained over my career of, of being in qualifying tournaments, what it takes to, you know, get on a run and get consistent mm -hmm. performances to win games to qualify for the World Cup. You know, hopefully I can pass on some of that knowledge to, to the group. And, you know, we've had a good start here, two wins from two. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, it's we're playing good cricket. And the really pleasing thing for me as, a, as an assistant coach to Gareth is, you know, it's not just Gareth doing all the performance. And we mm -hmm. saw that in Uganda as well. You yeah. know, he's obviously a standout cricketer. He's our best player. But, you know, we've we, pe other people have put their hands up um, in these two tournaments, which has been, which has been pleasing to see, mm -hmm. and hopefully now in the next two or three games, other people can put their hand up and we can you know go away with five wins. Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, from your time uh, playing for Ireland and you're trying to qualify for World Cups, like you said, can you see the can you see remnants of a, a younger Ireland in Italy and other countries like Finland coming coming through? And can you recognise like if these guys keep doing what they're doing, there's big potential for them moving forward. Yeah, definitely. I think you know the the natural ability is, is there in all in all the teams in this tournament, and it's I mean it's a dangerous tournament. You know the the first two games here, I've been as nervous as I was as a player, maybe even more nervous because you know it, 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 a lot of the teams are unknown. Mm -hmm. You know that a lot of teams have players coming in at seven, eight, and nine who can you know hit a fifty ball or a thirty ball fifty. You know, and, mm -hmm. and the, so the game's never over. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, playing on artificial wickets, some of our guys aren't used to playing artificial wickets. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a lot of players are, are brought up on the artificial wickets, um, so they know how to play on it. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, I suppose, uh, it, the Italian team going into the tournament probably starting off favourite, so that's a, mm -hmm. a banana skin as well. So, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and, and with the Irish team that I played in for, you know, all those tournament, qualifying tournaments, majority of the time we were the favourites going into the tournament, so a lot of teams want to knock us off. Mm -hmm. um, and, like and, and, and that's yeah. a pressure, you know, that's a yeah. pressure that is on the team from outside, but also, you know, from from within the team as well. You have your own personal pressure and, you know, that's, you got to embrace that. that you, you, you should want to try and, and, and play with that pressure, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to have that people expect you to qualify, mm -hmm. but ultimately you got to go out there and perform. So, but luckily we have done the first two games. Yeah. Uh, in your whirlwind trip of, of Italy, 
th those three towns you mentioned just before, you would have seen some some guys who didn't quite make the cut, but were potentially going to make the next World Cup qualifying sort of squad. Uh, how much talent is out there in the regional towns of Italy that you've seen so far in a short period of time? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's some very good players sitting at home. Um, and, I, and I've watched the ECS over the last two or three mm -hmm. weeks, the T10 tournament. Um, there's four in, in Italy this, this summer. There's been one in Milan, one in Brescia. Mm -hmm. Bologna is currently ongoing, and next week is Rome. So I've watched a lot of a lot of that yeah, um, on the on the stream, and you know, flick through games. And there's some really good players sitting at home. Um, now, whether they're qualified or not, whether they're eligible to play, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's up to the board to kind of clarify. But that's mm -hmm. that, that's the biggest thing, really, is is you ad you identify a player, and then you know, has he got all the paperwork in in place? Has he been mm -hmm. in the country for you know, the the period of time he needs to be? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. There's a, there's a lot more uh, hurdles to, to mm -hmm. jump than just you know okay he's a good player let's pick him yeah. you know he's got a has he stayed in the country for a hundred or whatever two hundred and fifty days yeah the last ten days. years and ten months a year for the last three years it's yeah. it's very tricky and you, you you identify a player that's good and then all of a sudden you know the 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 board come back and say he was he was back in Pakistan or India for six months yeah. last year and he's on a, he's ineligible so yeah. it's it's. Yeah. It's a, there's a lot of different hurdles to, to jump, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so moving on to the rest of the tournament, you guys started 2-0. and zero. Um, What would be your expectations for Italy for the rest of this tournament and then moving into the next phase of the qualifying procedure? Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, I, mean, I, I don't want to uh, sound arrogant or anything, but I, I expect us to qualify. Um, you know, we've, we've played good cricket, but that's not to say the other teams aren't good teams left. We've got Sweden uh, next who, are, who look a good side. They've got a good bowling attack. Um, you know, I watched their, their game against Finland. They've got, you know, they've got a bit of everything. Right arm pace, left arm pace, mm -hmm. um, you know, good left arm spinner as well. So they'll be tricky. Um, and then Croatia as well, you know, who are, are, are starting their journey, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, they had, they had a, a tricky game yesterday, but, you know, that's, that was their first run out. So, mm -hmm. you know, they'll, they'll be better when we played them in two or three days' time. So, um, yeah, and then obviously the crossover game is a do or die. You know, at the moment, I think it's probably going to be maybe Isla Man, who have yeah. who've won two out of two. So they look a good team, and, you know, they've uh, certainly a few good players, key players for them who, who are performing. So, yeah, uh, yeah we just got to keep keep calm, you know, trust trust ourselves back, our own ability, and, uh, you know, yeah, play kind of fearless at attacking cricket, but, you know, ultimately play smart cricket at the end of the day. Yeah. So, so these days, um, obviously, with uh, everyone on the mobile phone or, or camera who can live stream matches, live streaming has definitely increased previously versus previously. Have you used the opportunity to like watch other teams in your preparation, or is there someone in, in your Italian squad who does a little bit of reconnaissance mission using live streams these days? Uh, there's no one in, in our squad, um, but no, I watched... Actually, I watched the Estonia Finland game um, mm -hmm. that you guys you guys played last month. I think it was. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, just June, the, yeah. the first game um, over here in, in uh, Helsinki. So yeah, I watched that to get some info on the Finland players. Um, you know, and kind of got a good grasp of how they play, how they want to play their cricket in general, and then obviously mm -hmm. as from an individual basis as well. So I mean, I'll. I'll Probably do a little bit of homework on Sweden and, and Croatia now the next couple of days. Um, you know, just pr from a from a batting watch their batters more so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and try and give the boys a little bit of information. You know, where they like to play, how they like to play, whether they like it. You know, wide of off stump, or do they like it full or short? You know, just kind of try and pick up a, a little bit of knowledge here and there because ultimately, you know, we we as a team haven't seen any of their players. Mm -hmm. And in T Twenty, it's such a quick moving game. If you let someone go. With the bat, especially for the first three or four overs, you know it's hard to pull them back. So you've got to be on the ball from ball one, yeah. um, you know, and, and, and doing as much homework as we can, or you know, seeing as many of the opposition players as we can. It's going to help our team. Yeah, super. Anyway, thank you for your time. No worries, Again. man. All the best with Italy and your future endeavours. And Cheers. We'll be in touch. Cheers. Good luck next uh, next week for you, go you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. No worries.
So for the first time, we can now reveal the Estonian squad for Finland. As you can see, we have Arslan once again leading the team, assisted by Murali as the vice captain. Also, good to welcome back player of the series from Cyprus, Alina Sud. Games uh, to be played by the Estonian team on the 24th of July, it's uh, versus Norway at 11 a.m. from Kerava. On the 27th, it's versus Switzerland at 11 a.m. from Kerava. On the 28th, Czech Republic, uh, 4 p.m. game in Ticarilla. And on the 30th versus France, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, Carava. All games can be seen live and free on icc.tv. We hope you can get behind the boys and join us in wishing them all the success in Finland. And next week's show will come to you from Finland. So look, we do look forward to seeing you then. And a big thank you to our sponsors, Sportsbet.io, BluffVPN, High.com, HML Project Management and Nordcompetoon.